Hey everyone! In the previous videos, I explained how to add constraints while creating a new table, and in another video, I explained how to add constraints to the new columns while creating the new columns in an existing table. You can click on the links given in the description below. And uh, today's lecture is about how to add constraints to the existing table and existing columns that means we already have the table we already have the columns and we want to add constraints later so how we can do this i already have one table that is bank customers let me show you the data i just have one row and uh, these are the five columns customer name account number balance phone and bank name so how we can add constraints to the existing columns command is very simple alter table table name bank customers then you will add the word add constraint fine so because this time I'm not, I'm not going to add new column column is already existing so I'll write add constraint let's say I want to add the primary key constraint on account number so add constraint of course if you have give, written the word constraint you have to give the name to the constraint so let me give any name to the constraint primary key uh, 987 anything fine so next is the actual name that is primary key and in the bracket you will mention the column on which you want to apply this constraint let's want to apply this constraint on account number so the semicolon execute you got the message table order and want to check it so let me apply the describe command since it already has been executed so I'll comment it describe the table uh, table name that is bank customers execute and not null has been added with the account number and you know the primary key is the combination of not null and unique so the one is done now how to add another constraint unique constraint let's say i want to add the unique constraint on uh, uh, let's say phone number so I'll add alter table table name add constraint same as earlier then you give just any name to your constraint let's say uni987 any name to your constraint and then the actual constraint unique and in the bracket mention the name of the column that was phone and uh, let me comment this as well so execute and table alter now unique constraint has been added now next one is uh, check constraint ok I want to check my table first so I'll write it over let me comment it first I want to check the table column names ok so I want to add the check constraint on balance that balance has to be less than balance has to be greater than 500 and account number has to be less than something okay so we are going to add a check constraint so com command is again same alter table table name add constraint then give the name to your constraint check see something and then the actual constraint that is check in the bracket you will mention your condition my first condition is balance less than uh, sorry greater than 500 and let me execute it execute and table altered what if I want to add more than one constraint let's do that and the, uh, I want to add the constraint that um, altered uh, balance I want to modify this constraint and I want to say that add constraint uh, let's say another constraint check is balance greater than thousand I want to modify it and bank name uh, bank name in ICICI comma PNB comma SBI so I want only these three values could be inserted in bank name 
no other value could be inserted in bank name fine so this is the condition that I have this is the check that I have applied so let me close close the check bracket so if we put semicolon here execute and oh it was a comment my apologies so execute it says table alter now you got the new constraint so you can add any number of conditions in your check constraint so we are done with the primary key unique check now talking about the now let me comment it because it's already been done next one is your default okay before uh, yeah before default let's do um not null so if i say alter table table name add constraint then give any name to constraint um something then not null let's say i want to make um customer name as not null customer this column i want to make this column as not null not uh, sorry customer name then close the bracket and execute and it says that invalid identifier here important thing to know that your not null constraint does not work this way so what alternate do i have but i will do i'll modify this column modify then the column name that was customer name and at the end i'll give not null and if you click on execute table altered so your keep this in mind that your not null constraint will not work in this way using add constraint keyword you have to use the modify word with the not null constraint and there is one more exception you already know that default constraint even with the default constraint you cannot use the constraint keyword so in the case of how, how we can add the default value all right modify uh, let's say i want to give the default value of the bank as icici so modify um column name bank name then default and the default value i see i see i i see i see I. okay so quotes and it's been done so commented execute and table altered so this is how you can add constraints to the existing columns this method is simple just add the word add constraint then constraint name then your actual constraint and in the bracket mention the column name and since you are working with the column so that your alter query will remain the same alter table table name and in this case you have two exceptions not null and your default constraint doesn't work in this way and you have to use modify method with the default and uh, not null constraints and uh, in the next video i'll explain how to add how to drop the constraints if you already have added the constraint then how you can drop that so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like share and comment bye